Hello. Welcome back to Summer Sea. Welcome back to Ganpo. I figured since we're heading back up north anyway, we might as well kill something along the way and send the beast to Ganpo. And then I can join the feeding frenzy. Yep. I have now another old sailor's secret. And I should be able to do the story contest in uh what's that place? Low Barnet, okay. And let's head to our next destination now. back in Nook. Let's return to Nook. You only have one wine this time, so only one chance. Let's swim downwards. Mm, let's swim downwards. And then let me see. How many phosphorescent nodules do I have? I think this just goes down into the reading gullet. I can trade memories of Nook for phosphorescent nodules. Only five. Hmm. Can search. Gain four. I have 54. Never mind then. Let's just go down. Okay, let's just go down. Descend deeper. Keep swimming down into the gullet. Down, down. Something glimmers in the darkness, light through a tear in the flesh wall. Light. What? My mirrors give me a hundred percent chance. Do I want to do this now? Let's try. This is something new, I guess. A revolting discovery. You push through the tear into the fleshy cavity behind. A hundred child-sized maggots infest it. Eyeless, bleach white, burrow in with their teeth. In the middle of their number is a skeleton, picked clean. 
lit by a cluster of discarded nodules, and something else glints in the light. Polished gems of no use to these monsters. With careful movements, you navigate the maggoty boil and collect them. At least a hundred echoes worth, you estimate. I got echoes? Is that it? Is that it? Okay. A little bit of a waste, but... Oh, can I go any more deeper? Uh... Okay, let's try. Something glimmers in darkness, the same one. I don't want that. Deeper, deeper. Sleep stream. There is no treasure here, but the swift downward current promises a faster journey. Let's go! Carry it away. The current pulls you through narrowing inerts. The water sours. Your descent slows. Drowning. Oh no. No, not drowning exactly. You have air, but the water is too heavy. Your lungs scream with the effort. You have to get back to the sun. Oh shit. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> okay. Okay, I have to watch my uh, breath next time. Okay, let's go to... Let's try going to Chapel of Lights and see if we can gain any more unaccountably package. Maybe we'll drop by Anti... Nah. We'll go, we'll go to Chapel of Lights first. And then Anti later. <laughs> Welcome back to Chapel of Lights. I got bonged by that thing down there just now and I lost two crew. Here. God damn it. So now I'm slower, oh no. Uh, I can eat from the chapel's bounty, aha. Gather intelligence. And then... Can provide seasoning for their feast. Ooh. Or I can attend a service at the chapel. Hmm. Yeah, let's attend a service at the chapel first. The great bell tolls. The few and ragged faithful gather for St. Bo's lesson. Bring your offerings. My favorite lesson! The smiling priest exclaims happily. He speaks of souls as fish in an unclouded ocean. A light will be the bait. Here are the candles to bring them all in. Here is the well, which will eat all their sin. I will set the hook in your lip, he recites, and the mouths of all the congregation open. You feel the secret lodge in the soft flesh of your throat, lodge and quiver. At the very back of the chapel, something eyeless moves restlessly. Its mouth gapes like yours. Oh. I gain terror. Game memoirs the lessons of the chapel too. Okay. Let's see. Let's provide seasoning for their feast. They grind salt in the storehouse, but they need particular stones for particular savers. Three ambiguous units. I have exactly three. Grinding. In the storehouse, the smiling priest sits at the quern stone. Carcasses hang around him. He examines one of the eolids in the candlelight and smiles. If you hold it like this, it almost looks like a hand, see? He positions the eolid in the quern stone and turns the wheel. The almost fingers grind away. It's the extraordinary implication like realizing that carcasses hang around him in the storehouse. I assume carcasses means human purposes. what else can i do here uh i can do more of these i attend a service at the chapel but it doesn't give me unaccountably peckish 
How do I gain more unaccountably peckish? Hmm. I guess I have to figure it out later. But for now, we will go to Mount Palmerston uh, to get some fuel then and tea. That was slow. I'm back in Mount Palmerston. Let's try to the port folk. Now let's explore the island. A privateer encampment. This was an empty cliff top above the bleak waves. Now it blazes with colour. Striped tents, coloured flames, the music of pianola and kettle drum. Mustachio women and languorous men play chess, calf bones, eat caps and polish their terrifying brass weapons. These are Iron Republic privateers, pirates whose practices contravene the very laws of nature. Uh, let's attack. They are numerous but lost to wine and music. You will have the element of surprise, but it's very hard to know exactly what those weapons will do. I was unlucky. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh no, I lost more crew and an affair fight. The privateers run, yell, and fall. But now one seizes a weapon like a trombone inscribed with blasphemies. It conjures an appalling vibration which covers your zealers to screaming jellies. What? You convert my zealers to screaming jellies? Another crouches behind a rock. She employs a kind of mortar which rains down little pine cones. They smell delightful, but their perfume causes pine needles to erupt in green masses from your ears, mouths, and necks. Your crew is lost to bewildered terror. You flee as the triumphant privateers celebrate amid flares of red light. Uh. Oh well. Oh, I think I'm on the ruins. You are fortunate. Two supplies, two soup. One memory of distant shore. Okay. Okay, I guess we shall go. Oh no, wait. I almost forgot. Okay, let's go now. We're back in NT. Also, that was horrifying. Um, let's visit Rosina in her chambers. Oh, I thought I still have that wound. Oh, I don't have. I don't have something awaits you. Okay. Uh, let's leave. But let's surface. Because no, no constant companion. No, no. I lost two more crew. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna wait up here. While something awaits you. This journey was not good for my crew. Not at all. First, I lost everything because... For that judgment's sake. And I went because I ran up the, the Red River. And then I lost more crew because I was being reckless with battles. Unfortunate. No more fighting from now on. No more. Okay, let's turn around at least. While we wait for something that waits you. Okay, there we go. Oh, I can't? Now? No? Okay, there we go. This proves that the position is not 
always accurate from the uh, from the undersea and underwater. Okay, let's go into NT slowly. Uh, visit Rosina in her chambers. And we shall seek healing from Rosina. You've been wounded and she's an expert in these matters. You can offer her something for the sick room to make up for it. Two supplies, that's fine. Easy repairs. She's quick with the bandage and stitches. When you try to tank her, she waves aside your gratitude. You cured a more serious condition. Thank you. Okay, return to the rest of Anti. Let's see. Um, offer passage to the tomb colonies. It says clear skin traveler who wishes to make an escape. Okay. Get a poor report first. And then let's consider my own condition. 45% for this one. Hmm. Let's cultivate a capacity for sharpness. Succeeded. Oh. Oh, this is now 39%. That's still okay. Um. Oh, it's only lungs and groin. Let's try lungs. Does that open up anything interesting? Wait. Sell your song of broken holes to the singers in the shell. Lung and tongue are both crystal, the better to sing. Oh. What else? Mingle with hurriers, getters, and thrusters. Okay, this is for the lung one. Okay, okay. Let's try. We can always go back to Rack, which is very near London, for this one. Lung and tongue are both crystal, the better to sing. Yeah. Inside a great shell, the concert hall was once the shell of an impossible oyster. Now its surfaces are clean and iridescent, and the singers of Anthe perform. They can hold a note, a perfect, shapely note, for longer than ought to be possible. They sing the song of the broken hulls until it threatens to shatter the oyster shell. The performers are excited and full of questions. The song is brutal, sharp, and cold. Where did you get it? Who wrote it? They reward you as well as they can with gossip and food. Okay. I've lost the song Broken Hulls I to get from Rack again. Introduce snippet gain and supply is nice. Uh, I think I failed this one last time. Mingle with hurriers, getters, and thrusters. They used to be coal miners. Now they are impervious to coal, gas, or flooding. They might give you something. They might lure your crew away. I was unlucky again. Let's try it one more time. Again. Okay, okay, that's it, that's it. Um. Let's get the Tom Colony. Yeah, we're on the, our way to the vendor bike anyway. Okay, we have to travel on the surface of the Z now because we are our terror is too high. We're going to get a lot of constant companions in the Hunter Z. But I think that's all we could do. Okay. What if, what if I consider my own condition the last one and get the last sharpness? I succeeded, holy shit! You hold seven sharpnesses, seven is the maximum. Okay, the last one. Flourish in the groin. Okay. Now what? Visit the garden of sharpers. You are almost all sharp after all. Yes, indeed. What else? Uh... Lead the critic of some romantic literature. Oh. Let's try this. I know I only have one romantic literature. Uh, next time, Port Chameleon, next time. Lead the critic of some romantic literature. 
It will amuse the company to correct the more lurid scenes, with special attention to anatomical accuracy and selection of metaphor. Mm -hmm. This will exchange romantic literature for supplies and may gain you an improved addition if you are fortunate. Okay. Skilled workshop. You read aloud a scene concerning a lady and her rubbery companion. No one giggles, no one smirks or gasps or shifts in their seat. They all listen with fixed attention to the details. From time to time, someone interrupts the correction of the participant's technique or a suggested restructuring of the scene. You note down every recommendation until the scenes have been completely rewritten. After your reading, they bring you refreshments. It's exhausting work reading through all that, says a monk gravely, and he passes you a platter of cured meats. Wait, I have an Antian romance. <gasps> Interesting. What do I do with it? What do I do with it? Uh, where do I have it? An Antian romance. A work of romantic literature that has been revised by the best Antian minds. Okay. Okay, let's go to the Garden of the Shoppers. You are almost all sharp after all. A broad tunnel. The vines that hang along the tunnel walls are all nurtured crystal. Their fruit glitters. Their fallen leaves wobble without breaking underfoot. In time, the tunnel opens out to a vista, a grand cavern. Oh. The Garden of the Shoppers. It is a cavern of giants. They were all at one time men or women or other creatures you might meet familiarly on a London street. But they are larger now, grown like oaks into the cavern floor. Their bodies are clear as lens glass. Their faces are past the necessity of expression. They are your superiors, but you have come far enough that they are willing to help you if you wish. Note that you can develop at most one of these areas. You will not be able to change your mind. Choose wisely. Oh. I can return to the rest of Antti without changing anything. Uh huh. Train your eyes to sharpness with their help. This will, this will exchange all your current sharpness and your capacity for sharpness for a substantial boost of mirrors. This for pages, hearts, and iron. My lowest is actually mirrors. How much do you give me? Let's try with the mirrors. Train your eyes to sharpness with their help. A difficult lesson. Yeah, boost of mirrors. Generous instruction. Your teacher sits beside you. She is 30 feet tall. The sharpness of the eyes is more difficult than any sharpness you have yet studied. Indeed, you may lose the mastery of everything else in pursuing this one. You must begin not with the lens, nor with the vitreous humour, but with the tear ducts. If your eyes are not dry, they will never go sharp. Five mirrors. I lost all of these. It's fine. It's fine. Can I still consider my own condition? I can. Hmm. Let's try those again. Because what if I fail? I gain terror, that's what. Okay. Uh, my terror is a bit too high for me to do that for now. But let's get what we can first. Uh, I think, how many can we take? Two more, I think. Get the lungs. Yeah, okay, that's all we could do for now. I'll be back for more of those. Okay, we are going to head to... Okay, how with how high my terror is, I'm afraid to go 
even underwater. So I'm just going to fallen London directly. We will get enough crew and we will continue on our journey after that. Yeah. We need to lose our terror. We need to uh, get enough crew to go fast again. So let's go. Oh fuck. Go faster! Go faster! Okay. Now we shall slowly crawl back to London. in London. That was a treacherous journey. I had two crews left and 45 holes. Oh my god. I quickly ran away from that crap. Holy shit. Because my terror reached 100 and they were mutinying. It's just mutiny. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot about your thing. Uh, yeah. Wait, I can battle on the dark side? The forces of the law are cons conspicuous by their absence, paid off, no doubt. This doesn't look good, okay. Let's let's re return the payment of interest, that's fine. A grudging nod. That sets us even. I regret that since you have proven less than reliable, my patron will do without your services. Well... Let us be philosophical about it, and if we cannot be philosophical about it, let us be. He leans briefly closer. Silent. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, What's this? A tingle in the spine? What's this? Rack visions with the bone. Visions with the cup. Which is with the knife? I thought I have these. Wait, this is new. This is definitely new. Okay, uh... Go to... We need crew. Yes, crew. London. Uh, hire on more crew. Okay. Eleven. Seventeen. Nineteen. Let's get more. Closer to thirty, at least. Let's do it one more time. Gain two crew. Thirty, okay. Mm, let's go. Let's do one more. Three crew. Okay, 33. <sighs> 33. Okay. And then we shall go to Dry Dog. And... What's the... The Admiralty Yards. 25 Echoes and 3 Favors. Yep. Okay, I feel much safer now. Full hull. 
almost full crew. Okay, okay. Okay, I figured I should give the alarming scholar most of these things for their for their little storylet. Let's get let's get a little present from the scholar first. Gain two supplies. Uh, a memory of distant shores, a piquant piece of picaresque pilgrimage. Wells of emotion. As the alarming scholar listens, tears well in the depths of those shining or is it blazing eyes. They overflow, splashing onto the desk blotter. Stop! He, she sobs at last. This is too, too beautiful. Allow me to bring the macaw to memories. I wish each individual tone recalled. Okay, contain echo, a Z story, a tale of the deep. Difficult dictation. Thrilling! Let me hear every detail. First, I must find my fountain pen. Oh, how regrettable. It has a spider impaled on the nib. Excuse me. Let me... Good heavens, it's still alive. Pass me that volume of Gibbon. There we go. Do you have another pen? Mm -hmm. A strange catch. Pickle into quiescence. Deep excitement. The scholar circles your specimen jar, tapping at the glass, with a variety of tools. Screwdriver, magnet, scrutinizer, tuning fork, flensing knife, and a sort of slotted spoon. This will keep them going for weeks. She, he says, thinking to himself, we'll dine at the high table tonight, I think. Okay. What about a lamentable relic? Not a scientific curiosity, necessarily, but the scholar has a collection or something. A beaming smile. This would be so terribly wasted in an ossuary. She, he buffs the cranium with a sleeve. I think a climbing briar rose will suit this one rather well. A yellow rose, perhaps. Thank you so much. Let's keep this between ourselves. Only five echoes. What about a judgment's egg? A mystery in a bottle. I have three. Questions, questions. How intriguing. Hmm. Has it been in an ape? Did you leave it in a jewel? It hasn't been to the surface, has it? Can it provoke objects to self-mutilation? Have you subjected it to imaginary wavelengths? What is... I have no idea, but 500 echoes. Okay. Doesn't seem that worth it. Outlandish artifact. Shaped by hands unknown in London. A careful scrutiny. We have something like that. She, he declares. But not very like that. Interesting. I have some ideas about suitable fees. I got one fragment. Okay. Uh, what about a captivating treasure? Shiny, and you polish it before you brought it in. So it's even shinier today. Glinting eyes. Oh my. Teeth bare in a hungry grin. There's something odd about those teeth. As if there were too many of them. This will make quite a dent in my acquisitions budget. But worth it, I think. Yes, worth it. Thousand Echoes. Uh, Colossal Fluke Core. Uh, I guess I can kill another one. Have your men wheel it in. Remove the cover with a flourish. Memories. Prison light scratches at the surface of the core. Oh, yes. The alarming scholar breathes. Oh, yes. She, he seems to have forgotten you. So many savers. Come here, my love. Come here. The irrigo glow at its core brightens. Color leaks from the room, to be replaced by one shade only. You wake slowly in your cabin. The swinging lights seem dull after the irrigo glow. Your eyes itch oddly. What happened exactly? The scholar you know will never speak of it. I've gained terror in London. Something has changed in the neath. What? Oh. The, he, she kicked me out. Oh, because I got kicked back into the cabin. Okay. Uh, I only have one lump of loose intellect though, so maybe not. A ray drenched cinder. That's Cosmogon, isn't it? It's hard to make it out when one's awake, you know. Lovely color. Reminds me of crab flesh. Mm. 
I have two, you can have one. Close inspections. What's this stuff on the bottom? A sort of lilac slime? Have you been digging these out of fungus towers? No, I shan't ask. I'd rather not know. Mm -hmm. 800 echoes, nice. Uh, what else can I give you? A searing enigma. I have 13. It won't be safe with her, him, but then it won't be safe with anyone. What? Give it to me. Yes, yes. Now I understand. Listen. The net. The law. The harm. The sky. The light. The clock. The Z. The eye. The night. Leave me. Leave me now. I have things to do. A thousand echoes. Oh. Um, a dread surmise. Wait, if you choose this option, the scholar will become permanently unavailable. Do I give you my searing enigmas for the dread surmise? Hmm, I can do this still. Offer the scholar an extraordinary implication. What a tantalizing crumb! The scent of secrets. I will place it with the others. One day, one day, I will have enough. 250, uh-huh. What else? An intriguing snippet. I might perhaps classify this as gossip, not data. Nevertheless. Oh-ho, zesty, zesty. This one will do very well share. Thank you, your payment. 50 echoes, not bad. Uh, a live specimen. Something not yet extinct. You flick the blanket away, and the creature in the container shrinks away from the light. The scholar clasps hands in delight. Oh-ho! It's still moving! I can think of uses for this. Okay. That's all the options I have with them. What's the dread surmise one? And why would I need a dread surmise? Okay, we'll leave the alarming scholar for now, and we'll figure out if he won the dread surmise or not. Okay, let me see. Let me go back to uh my lodgings. Get the morning papers for the recent news. Um, can purchase a Z side mansion. Ten thousand echoes. Something up by the prick finger waist, but not too near the carnival. Something with a view. Do I... If I buy this, do I... Finish the story? Will this end my story and I just retire from z varying life? Grand Estate. The mansion has fallen on sad times. But your crew get it ship -shape. Painting walls, polishing floors. Rousting out the occasional nest of eye-stealing sorrow spiders. Resting is now more expensive, but very much more effective at reducing terror. I now... I can now lodge in a Z-side mansion. Can rest. 100 echoes. Resting here will reduce terror, heal all wounds, and give you three restful nights. The life of quality. Indeed. Lost 20 terror. Three restful nights, yeah. Breakfast in the breakfast room, lunch on the lawn, dinner at Dante's Grill. Why exactly is it you go to sea again? Oh yes, the bills. And also my ambition to be immortal. Okay, let's go to the study. What do we need for the Zong of the Sea? Dread Surmise. Okay, I need a Dread Surmise for Zong of the Sea. Irem, Port Report, King Ethel's Castle, Khan's Hut, Mount Palmerston, Port Cecil, 40 Secrets, 77 Tale of Terror, 58, I uh, 58, 68, okay, Z story is pretty close. Memory of Distant Shores is also very close. I need to figure out a way to get more Tale of Terror. Uh, Whispering Trophy Case, I have. I have all these things. Yeah, at the bottom row, I have everything. It's just the uh, poor reports and these. Tale of Terror, Z Story, and Memory of Distant Shores. Maybe you can try this. 
a completion is run. Why not? We have the mention that we can retire technically, but we can also get Zone of the Sea, which is under another ambition, uh, on older ambition that is. Yeah, I think this is it. This crafts the Zone of the Sea, which is an item that I can equip as well. It's probably not worth all this effort to collect all these things, but you know, completion is sick. Let's go out into the house. Hmm. Yeah, I can re consider retirement from seafaring life now. Nah. Back to the rest of the city I go. Okay, in the Roses War, a starving poet is looking for Soleil's food. Uh, four. I sold a sonnet, he exclaims, jangling a pocket full of echoes. Feeding the soul. With his proceeds, you could line frugally for a fortnight, sensibly for a week, or on Soleil's fruit for supper. He takes a tiny, careful nibble as soon as you hand it over, careful not to spill a drop of juice. 75 echoes. Mm, I guess that's fine. <laughs> 